What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a little while. I, I just had to take a little break. You know, life gets crazy. And I kind of actually really kind of got bored with the game. But UFC 4 is coming out. And I figured I'm going to start uploading again. And try to be more consistent. I got a new job. So hopefully with my new hours I will be able to upload a little bit more consistently but anyway what this video is about a while ago when you asked me if I can make a video on how to throw elbows or like when to throw elbows um, how to land them I kinda responded in a dumb way and I apologize for that because literally some people will ask me how to throw elbows so you know I'll say you know R2 and square or triangle and that's what they want to know so that's why I have replied that way and I apologize but here's your video I hope you tune in I know I'm like super late in making this but here we go so I'm gonna give you like three tips and then I'm gonna show you a video util utilizing these tips so what I like to do is tip number one I like to throw my elbow in a combination and I don't mean elbow elbow yeah you can do that that's all good and all but I like to do either rear elbow lead hook or rear elbow uh, lead uppercut and these are in the Muay Thai combinations so you should be able anyone with I think Muay Thai level, you know, one probably has these. I'll try to find the combo real quick. See right there, elbow lead hook, elbow lead uppercut. So there you go. That's tip number one. The next tip is I like to throw these when I have my opponent kind of trapped like up against the cage like I'll back them up with combinations you know and then I like to do boom boom you know get them backed up it's because the elbow like the range you have to be pretty close like you can't be out here and throwing it like so I like to get them you know, up against the cage with combinations and eventually you know you can hit that combination and then my next tip I'm going to show you guys in the video I could do it with a strike recording but it won't be the same so tip number three is I like to throw try to land this combination either at the beginning of my opponent's strikes or at the end of my opponent's strike or and or strikes so you guys will see what I'm talking about um, in the video I'm about to show I'm gonna slow things down and then uh yeah so let's go find a fight and yeah I'll be right back with you Coming up next, it is a okay guys, so this is a fight I just had, this isn't a live commentary for it, but there are some moments in this I want to show you guys, like the tips I just told you guys are going to be utilized in this fight, you guys will see, but yeah, who's excited for UFC 4? Let me know if you guys are excited. Did you play the beta? I know the beta got mixed reviews. But hey, man. UFC 3 was pretty horrible when it, you know, when the beta was out itself. So, can't really judge a game on the beta. But anyway, let's uh, take a look at this fight. You got tagged there. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket both A lot of these things you are gonna be able to use in like a lot of these tips. At least for the striking, you're gonna be able to use in UFC 4. Well 
Well, his opponent's got the read now, Joe, as he lands the punch to the head. He's got so see how I'm kind of backing him up against tor towards the fence. Blah, kind of tripping over my words, but I'm just, I'm just slowly backing him up. Not really pushing too hard, but look. See? Backing up. Backing him up. Right there. Boom. Rear elbow, lead hook. And that did a lot of damage if you look at his head health. And it kind of changed some combinations after it too. So that's the first tip of being utilized. Back him up against the fence. That's going to be your best chance. When they're trapped, they really got nowhere to go. Of course you can land elbows in the clinch, but I feel everyone knows that. But no, I feel UFC 4 is going to be like a stand and bangs uh, best bet. Like, if, if you're a stand and bang guy, it's going to be really hard for someone to like hold you in the clinch. Like, you can't just hold somebody in the clinch in UFC 4. There's just no way. Like, you can't do it. It's so easy to get out of the clinch. Yeah, you can't deny the clinch, but you can get out of it so easy. So coming right up here is going to be landing the elbow at the end of his strike. See that? Boom. There's going to be another example of that that I slowed down a little bit, a little bit better. But, oh, I love using Matt Brown. This guy does not know how to deny the clinch, apparently. This is ranked, if you guys were wondering. Oh, he's just not winning these exchanges. He should have the stamina advantage, honestly. Alright, right here. Throws a combo. Jab, straight. Jab's not the best combo, but boom, I load up. Elbow, uppercut. And he is rocked and he is hurting. And then he is done. But there you go, guys. Three tips. Tip number one again, throw in combination. You can do elbow, elbow if you want. But I like to do rear elbow, lead hook, rear elbow, lead uppercut. Uh, tip number two, throw when they're up against the cage. They got nowhere to go. You know, they're going to run in. You know, it's a very good chance that you're going to get, you're going to land that combination if you're right close to them. And then number three, throwing either at the start or the end of their combo and or strike like if they're just throwing, th throwing single strikes try to do it at the end of a strike or try to land it right before the start up that will give you you know high vulnerability and you can get the finish but yeah guys that's about it for the tips if you liked what you saw please hit that like button it really helps out Good Subscribe if you're new. The I'm going to leave you guys with another fight, but I'm out of here for now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. And Matt. Here we go. First round. You ready? You ready? Here's First go. round underway. Brown gets hit by that kick to the midsection, Joe. Caught him with a punch. He's keeping busy here, connecting with a lot of punches. Oh, he scored with that uppercut. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. And he connects there, Joe. Punch coming, it's blocked. Kick lands forward there. Good punch. Both guys have proved to be dangerous. Oh, he tagged him in the left.
beautiful strike here to end the fight early in the first. Well, Joe, we've talked a lot about his technique and how technical a striker he is, and that was really the shot heard around the world to get the finish here in the first round. Again, maybe he caught the guy cold a little bit. He didn't have a chance to warm up, but that is a huge result for him here tonight, and on the other side, he didn't take much damage. So, big, big win for him here tonight. Take a look at this from a different angle. Bang! So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at one minute, two seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Matt the Immortal. All right, so the immortal Matt Brown does it again, and I've got to think at this point, you've got to look far and wide to find his remaining doubters. That man is an absolute beast, and he comes up with another legacy-building win here tonight. Good for the Ohio native, Matt Brown.